Welcome to episode 65 of our Comfy UI tutorial series. Today I am testing this node called Vibe Voice that lets us clone a voice, so we can just type what we want and the AI will speak for us with a similar voice. Let's go to Comfy UI, and I will open one of the workflows for it. Not because the workflow is complex, but because it's easier to download what you need when you have clear instructions. The node creator said this version should work with approximately 6 gigabytes of VRAM. I also have a workflow version Q8 that should be better at audio but needs around 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So depending on your VRAM, you can test both to see how they work since both are a bit slow in generation. Let's start with the smaller one first, the 1.5b version. But first, we need a node. You can see here we need only one custom node in this workflow called Vibe Voice Comfy UI. So let's go to Manager, then to Custom Nodes Manager, search for Vibe Voice. And I am using the version that starts with Vibe Voice since there are two versions there. This is the author of the node. You have to click Install. You can see mine is already installed. Restart Comfy UI after the installation, and you should get a workflow without any red outlines around the nodes. So we have the code needed to run it. Now we just need the models. Here are the steps you should follow. First, you need to create a folder called Vibe Voice in this location. Go to the folder where you installed Comfy UI, then open the Models folder, and if you don't already have this folder, create it. For the second step, it needs a tokenizer. The tokenizer is basically a translator between text, what you write, and the numerical codes the AI model understands. Models like Vibe Voice don't process letters or words directly. They process numbers, tokens. So the tokenizer converts your input text, then the model takes those numbers and turns them into speech features, which later become actual audio. So we need to create this tokenizer folder and then download the model files inside that folder. We need these four files to be downloaded. So we have this tokenizer folder inside the Vibe Voice folder, and there you need to download these four files. To download them is easy. You just click on this link and download those four files into the tokenizer folder, just like I have it there. You need these because without them, it will not work and will probably not recognize the models either. Then for step three, we need the actual model, in this case, a smaller version that should work on lower VRAM. So we need to create a new folder for it inside the Vibe Voice folder. We can download the model from here. The model is made by Microsoft, and you need to download all these files. You don't actually need the README, the Git attributes, or the Figures folder. So if you look, I have this folder, and I put all those files inside. All those files combined make the model work. If you don't have all of them, Comfy UI will not see the model. And that's all. Here you have more info about the model, and at the bottom you have the link to the actual node on GitHub if you want to learn more. If you have more VRAM, you can try the Q8 version. The first steps are the same. What is actually different is step 3, since we use a different model. So we need a new folder and all those files. Click on the link, get all the files it needs, and put them inside a folder. The folder can have any name, just make sure you select the same name in the node. I put all these files here. Restart Comfy UI, and you should be able to use these workflows. Let's start with the small one first. It's easy to create this workflow. You need a load audio node. As you can see, it's the same node. Then you need this node. Double click on the canvas and search for Vibe Voice. We have single speaker and multi speaker. Let's test the single speaker first. It's the same node. I just made it larger and green. Then we need a node to save the final audio. You have different options. The best quality is the FLAC version, but you can also choose MP3 if you want. That's all. The file will be saved in the audio folder inside the output folder. So let's test it. First, we need an audio sample for the voice we want to clone. Record yourself for a few seconds. Usually, if you record over 20 seconds, you get better results. Use this button to upload the audio, and you can hear how it sounds. In the early light of morning, a white bunny stirs in the grass. I have 26 seconds of audio with the voice I want to clone. Then we have the text that we want to be spoken with that voice. Let's run it and see what we get. You can see here the model selected is this one. Since I have two of them, I can select which one to use. When the result is ready, we have this play button. Let's listen. A white bunny stands still. 
surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? If we play the original again, it should sound pretty similar. In the early light of morning, a white bunny stirs in the grass. A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding? Now let's test with a woman's voice. I have here a sample of a woman speaking, and let's run it. By the way, if we toggle the bottom panel, we can see how it's generating. The progress bar shows the maximum possible tokens, so you don't need to wait for the bar to reach the end. It will finish faster. The generation is usually slow depending on how long your text is. For that simple text, it took 15 seconds, so it's not very fast, but it sounds quite good. Let's hear the woman's result. A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? Every pair of shoes tells a story. Some carry the dust of long walks, others remember the rhythm of a dance. It added some kind of sound at the beginning of the audio, like a subtle music tone. A white bunny stands still. A white bunny stands still. So as you will see, it's not always perfect, but, well, it's free, so we use what we have. Let's go to ChatGPT and ask for a 20-second text for a woman speaking about Comfy UI. It generated this text. So let's see how well it reads it. Let's test it. For this one, it should take more time since the text is longer. It took 43 seconds on my 24 gigabytes VRAM card. Let's hear the result. Comfy UI is the most flexible visual workflow tool for AI image generation. It lets you build complex prompts using nodes, like a visual map of your creative process. You could control samplers, models, and styles with total precision and once you learn the logic, it faster add more powerful than any other interface out there. It perfect for artists who want full control over their AI visuals. So it made some mistakes there. It didn't pronounce all the words. It should have said it's faster and more powerful, but instead it said this. It faster add more powerful than it faster add more powerful than. So it seems to have some problems reading it's, it says it instead. It perf, it perf, it perf. Let's try another one really quick. Sometimes it has some problems with numbers, but not with all numbers. Let's see if it reads this one right. 1981 was a turning point in technology and culture. IBM launched its first personal computer, MTV hit the airwaves, and the digital age quietly began. It was the year when the world started shifting from analog to digital shaping everything we know today. So the result wasn't bad this time, and it read the number correctly. The model is specialized for English, but it can also handle other languages if you give it text in that language, just not as well as English. It depends on the language. Let's test it with this French text. 1981. Un marqué, un dans la technologie et la culture. IBM a lancé son premier ordinateur personnel. MTV est apparu à la télévision et l'ère numérique a commencé discrètement. C'était l'année où le monde a commencé à passer de l'analogique au numérique, transformant tout ce que nous connaissons aujourd'hui. So the numbers and capital letters seem to have been read in English instead of French. 1981. Un marqué. So maybe convert those to words. I don't know much French, but the last words also seem to be wrong. Aujourd'hui. Let's do a quick comparison between those two models to see if there is any noticeable difference. I will change the seed to fixed so we can get the same generation. I will copy and duplicate the entire workflow. I will make sure the models are different, but the rest is identical. And let's test it. A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? The generations are pretty similar. It's hard to tell which one is better. Let's try another seed. Remember that in the output folder, you have an audio folder where all the audio files are saved. Let's listen to the generation of the second seed. A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? 
A white bunny stands still, surrounded by falling petals. Is it hiding or simply listening? It got a similar glitch at the beginning with that music-like intro. A white, a white. So the first seed was better than this one. I hoped Q8 would not have that glitch, but it might come from the training. You can also try multiple speakers, up to four, but it doesn't always work great. It depends on luck, or should I say seed. For the prompt, you have to write which speaker is talking for each voice, so use that number in front in that exact format. I added two voices, a man's voice and a woman's voice, and both are connected here. Let's test it. Hello, this is the first speaker. Hi there, I'm the second speaker. Let's duplicate it so it talks more, and change some text. Hello, this is the first speaker. Hi there, I'm the second speaker. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we got those extra sounds again that we don't want, so try a different seed until you get a clean one. Hi th Hi th You can also use ChatGPT to arrange the text for you. Just give it an example of the format you want, and it should be able to do it. This one took 116 seconds, so it's not that fast. Hey, have you seen those little white bunnies in the garden? Yes, they're adorable. They were hopping around near the fence this morning. I think they've made a nest under the bushes. Really? That's so cute. We should leave them some carrots or lettuce. Good idea, but not too much. They'll start expecting room service. Haha, <laughs> fair point. Still, they make the garden feel alive. Hey, have you seen those little white bunnies in the garden? Yes, they're adorable. They were hopping around near the fence this morning. I think they've made a nest under the bushes. Really? That's so cute. We should leave them some carrots or lettuce. Good idea, but not too much. They'll start expecting room service. Ha ha, fair point. Still, they make the garden feel alive. So as you can see, it's not perfect, and we get those strange noises again when we have a lot of text back and forth. There are ways to remove that in post-processing. For example, you can use a program like FL Studio or other that has a stem extraction function. You can drag the audio onto the timeline, change to song mode, and as you can see when I play it, it has those artifact sounds. Hey, have you seen? Hey, have you seen? But I can go here to this menu and select Extract Stems from Sample. Then you can choose what you want to extract. If you have music, you can split instrumentals and voice. I will keep vocals in this case and click Extract. Then I get a new layer without those extra sounds. If I play it, you can see it's now fixed. Hey, have you seen those little white bunnies? If I hide the layer and compare with the previous one, you can see that one has those sounds. When you are happy with it, you can export it in different audio formats. I used it pretty much with the default settings, but feel free to play with them. If you hover over a setting, you can see a little help text explaining what it does, and on the GitHub page, each of those settings is also explained. That's all for today. If you found something useful, leave a like and a comment to help with that strange thing called the YouTube algorithm. Thank you, legends, and everyone who subscribed to the membership and supports this channel. I wish you a wonderful day, and I'll see you on Discord. Bye-bye.